Hi, today I'm going to show you how to hold your cue correctly. Now, it might sound quite obvious, but doing this properly will help you improve a lot faster. You'll pop more balls, your cue ball control will be better, and you'll have a lot more cue power as well. Now, when it comes to cue sports, there's two really key fundamentals to being successful. The first one is aiming properly, knowing where to hit the ball. And the second one is delivering the cue in a way that hits where you're aiming. Now that second point is all about technique. And one part of that technique is how to hold the cue. So I'm going to cover that off today. And just as a quick demonstration, I'll show you this really simple bot here. Now, if my uh, technique isn't correct and I hit slightly off center with the white, just watch what happens. I'm aiming this straight at the pocket. Look, I'm now putting a touch aside on it, which I'm not in intending to do. And I miss the ball by quite a long way. Now, every single player can do that. Put a bit of unintentional side on it and it messes everything up. So today we're going to look at one part of making sure that your technique is consistent and you do that less often. So let's have a look at that now. Now, in terms of how to hold your cue, I'm going to cover five different areas. The first is your bridge hand. Second is your forearm. Third is touch points at your chin and chest. Fourth is the back arm. And fifth is a grip. So let's start with the bridge hand and specifically how far away from the cue ball you are. Now, the closer you go, the more control you're going to have over the white and, and the cue. There's less chance of pushing that cue off a straight line. So it gives you more control, but it sacrifices power because you can't pull the cue back very far to deliver power on it. Conversely, if you move your uh, bridge hand back from here, you've got a lot more power, but a lot less control. The, the cue can move off and inadvertently put side on the white. So I find about 10 inches behind the cue ball gives you a good mixture of power and control. Now, when you're playing, you want consistency in your shots. And when I first started out, you know, getting that, that bridge hand correct is um, part of being consistent and delivering the cue consistently. I had a coach who got me to address the ball. Now, you can do this in your dining room table if, if you don't have a table at home or don't want to do this down the club. He got me to address the ball, you know, have the, the cue up to where I would, I would address it. And this contact point here between the thumb and the cue, he drew a pencil line around it. And it just meant that every time I was going to play a shot, I knew where I was holding the cue, um, and it gave me that consistent shot making and don't worry about um you know a pencil mark on your cue it will come off with a damp cloth or a bit of steel wool now the second point i want to cover is about your forearm uh, and specifically having it bent now this is something that every player should do and i'm going to show you why um sometimes you'll see a player play with a really straight arm like that you'll never see a top player play like that and there's there's a couple of reasons why if i have a really straight arm like that and play this shot look how far away my head is from the shot now if i simply curve my arm look where i am now i'm much closer to the ball and that gives me a big advantage because as we all know potting a close-up shot is a lot easier than potting something further away because you've you know uh, it's it's harder to see the shot. But the second reason is, if you've got a straight arm, I can feel uh, the balance, the weight of my body is now shifted backwards, and the momentum is backwards. Uh, and that, that means that you can get less cue power. And if you think about it in terms of golf, you know, when you play a golf shot, you're standing over the ball. You know, your body weight is, is over the ball, and that allows you to get power in it. You don't see golfers play a shot from back here. 
So you can get a lot less power in it. So why would you play a pool or snooker shot like that? Now, the next point I want to cover is about your chin and whether it touches the cue or not. Obviously, when you play a shot, you want to get as low down as possible because it gives you the best line of sight. Now, some players will actually rest their chin on top of the cue. Now, that gives the advantage of a bit more control over the cue. You know, there's less chance of it moving offline. Again, similar to your bridge, it sacrifices a bit of cue power. Um, so this is, this is a personal preference, really. You can have it touching your, your chin and have more control, or you can have your chin slightly above it and have a bit more power. And it's the same with your chest. But that obviously depends on, on your body shape as well. You know, some people will have, have the cue kind of resting on their chest and on their chin. Now, there is very little can now go wrong in terms of how I deliver that cue in a straight line. But I am sacrificing a lot of uh, cue power by doing that. So my personal preference is my chin doesn't touch the cue. You know, I'm really down low and it. sometimes it will slightly graze it. But... It's entirely up to you. Now, the next point to cover is your, your back arm. And this is an approach I think that everyone should adopt. Um, what you want is a 90 degree angle in here. Um, but you want that at the point where you're holding the tip of the cue at the white ball. So imagine you've got your pencil line um, at this point. You want to bring your back arm at a point that creates that 90 degree angle. Now, if you put it further back, again, this gives you more power, but less control because you're using more Q. If you bring it forward, you've got more control, but not as much power. I think that perfect point is at 90 degrees. So 90 degrees where you're at your pencil line and you're holding the Q in your back hand. Now again, the, the coach I had to help me just put a little bit of tape around there and that way you've got your tape here, your pencil line here, means that you're always holding the cue in the same place for every shot and it'll help you get that consistency right. Now the last point I want to cover is about your grip. Uh, it's really important to have a nice loose grip. You know, Almost just the first two fingers are what grips the cue and the rest are for balance. It makes such a difference to every shot and it's probably the biggest mistake that I see uh, and I'll show you what difference it, it makes in a second. Um, these uh, last three fingers are almost there for balance and when you're feathering the cue they should be opening up. It just gives you a lot more touch, gives you a lot more freedom with the cue. It's tight, everything feels tense and it shows in your shot. So I'm going to play this shot, one with a tight grip one with a loose grip, just going to screw the ball back and just watch the difference. So this first one is a tight grip. I'm going to hit them both in the same place in the white and about the same pace. Tight grip. Now, you see that I brought the cue, back, cue ball back a little bit there. I'll play the same shot with a nice loose grip. Look at the difference in the action that you get just by having the only difference that I made was having that backhand loose. Uh, so that's really important to do. Now, I hope you found all of this useful. If you're a beginner, um, please persevere with this. It might feel a bit odd, some of these things. And if you've been playing for a while, I know it's really hard to change your technique, but you've got to think of the long run. You know, you're not going to get a short term fix. Think about how you want to play in the long run and then just persevere with making a few changes and I guarantee you it'll take your game up to a new level if you do that. So thanks for watching. If you have enjoyed it then please drop me a comment below and a like as it really helps this video get uh, seen by more people. Thanks very much.